Am I the asshole? For buying $500 of mismarked prime rib? I was visiting my local grocery store on Sunday, in Michigan with the intention of buying a couple of pounds of chicken wings and two steaks for my wife and I. As the meat department clerk was weighing and preparing my wings, I looked at the prime rib, and the very large think 12-13 pounds a piece prime rib sections were listed with the dollar amount in NEA. I thought this was peculiar, because that just seemed off to me it should have said dollar amount pound. I snapped a photo of the price tag, and then I took a flyer, and I said, Hey I have a big party coming up. I need all of your prime rib. He looked at me like I was crazy, and began the process of packaging up six of the whole prime ribs. I cook for a veterans group on Saturdays, and this would not only go far, but it would save a ton of money on their budget. I went up to the register, and the meat rang up for over $140 per package. I scanned each of them, I paid the price, and I walked right over to customer service. The customer service attendant got very wide-eyed, and called over a manager. I walked with the manager over to the meat area, where the price was still displayed as $17.99 each, and I let him know that due to the scanner law, I just want the difference, with the $5 added to each. The manager was livid. They completed the refund of the difference, and he said to me this could very well lead to someone losing their job. At that point, I said you can't be serious. I'll return the meat. Nobody needs to lose their job. The manager responded with maybe you shouldn't have taken advantage of the fact that somebody made a mistake, because it's already too late. So, am I the asshole here for taking advantage of the incorrect price? If this was a mom and pop local butcher shop YTA. If this was a giant chain NTA. As far as the firing goes, that's not on you. You don't know the employee's work history leading up to this. More likely than not the manager was just trying to make you feel like an ass. Added not the asshole, op confirmed it's a huge chain. Not the asshole, not your fault they made a mistake. That manager however is an asshole if he is going to fire someone over $500, or blame you for their mistake. Not the asshole ass a major grocery chain. I imagine the manager was just trying to make you feel bad. Grocery stores throw away tons of food every day and destroy it so it can't even be used to serve the homeless etc. Fuck em. I'm never mad at people for stealing food. Edit Ty for doubling my comment karma on this one post y'all, sparkling heart. Law at all the YTA. Not the asshole by a huge mile. The manager needs to do their job and not guilt trip you for taking advantage of the law. Not the asshole they should have been more careful. Not your problem. Enjoy the ribs. Not the asshole you think the grocer loses sleep when they make a mistake in their own favor and overcharge you? It happens every day. My mother never went shopping without catching at least one error. She was excellent at spotting these things. Mistakes are made. Sometimes it favors you, other times it favors them. You got lucky. That manager is full of sour grapes. This happened to me once. Chicken breast tender packages were marked at $1 each instead of per pound 1980s. I knew that was wrong so I alerted the clerk I did have to debate with myself first. He thanked me and told me to take as many as I wanted at the wrong price to thank me, and I took two packages so as not to be greedy. So OP is kinda you're the asshole for taking unfair advantage. Wait, you didn't just buy one you bought their entire stock? That's totally a nah move. It sounds like an honest mistake. Your intent was to screw the store over and rub their face in it. You're the asshole big time. And I can't believe you're surprised this would cost someone their job. It's a costly mistake. Not the asshole it's the store's manager's responsibility to ensure correct pricing of items. Taking advantage of an incorrect price never makes someone an ah, uh, it makes them smart. Not the asshole, they fucked up. It's a chain store who no doubt pays employees minimum wage or close to it and if they didn't want you to return it that's on them. So fuck em. Not the asshole. If they decide to fire the employee that's on them. Blaming you is them trying to deflect their involvement. Not the asshole. They would be if they fired someone. That's petty change for a large chain supermarket. You did take advantage of the system but seriously they need to chill. No one is getting fired. You can't beat our meat not the asshole. I would have done the same. Ignorance is not an excuse. Not the asshole. As David Lee Roth once said, eat him and smile. No way, not the asshole. When Ace Hardware incorrectly priced a half gallon of tequila, they honored the mistake and sold it to me for the price on the sticker. It was half off if not more, they didn't make a fuss. Not the asshole it was mismarked and their fault. 
This big chain has consistently raised their prices over the years to the point they're comparable with other chains now but yet they still claim they're the discount or low prices chain. As long as you use the meat for what you said going to the veterans center, I'd sleep well tonight if I were you. Next time ask him why he shouldn't be fired if he's the manager. It happened on his watch. Watch him fumble saying that's not not how it works. And then I would do a speech about how he should take responsibility for his team. Not the asshole. What is the scanner law? Don't think we have that in Canada. Not the asshole. If they were looking to fire some low-wage workers, they wouldn't need this snafu. Not the asshole. The Michigan scanning law exists for a reason. It is a very strange law that I have never found in the seven other states I've lived in. That being said I worked retail for 2.5 years in Michigan and it was beat into our heads over and over so that we made sure things were priced accurately because of it. That manager is the one who is going to get in trouble, not the employee who put that sign out, that's why he was acting that way. Not the asshole as someone who works at the Mart good for you. Someone messed up and that's sad but I know idiots that would have got only a slap on the wrist and a don't do it again speech. What's this with the $5 added to which you speak of? Yeah my duty were definitely in the wrong and you added the win veterans thing so you would seem like a less of an asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole for exploiting that shit hardcore one piece would have been one thing. Just to add context that isn't part of this. Op said it is the biggest grocery store chain in the US. That's Kroger. Kroger and Albertsons are in the process of merging and probably thousands of people are going to get laid off, and store folks are definitely aware and nervous. Someone is absolutely going to lose their job over this, because of the level OP felt entitled to go to. This put a target on someone's back. You're the asshole. You're legally on solid ground apparently. If you had gone shopping for prime rib and took advantage of the error for the two steaks, then maybe. Not for hundreds of dollars of meat, no. You know right from wrong, clearly. Tell all your friend family colleagues and see if they celebrate you. It's doubtful. You're the asshole I personally don't like it when people take advantage of obvious mistakes in pricing. You knew very well they didn't intend to sell it at that price. You're the asshole, obviously, and it doesn't matter that this is a major grocery chain. Of course billion dollar companies don't need to care about $500, but they still do, and they still frequently fire the minimum wage employees who make those mistakes without a second thought. Why do people behave this way? What did you gain from taking advantage of an obvious mistake? You live in a society. I've done the same thing. You know what's an asshole? The amount of inflation towards food and the oh well attitude about it. Not the asshole. This is why the word community means absolutely nothing anymore. Everyone trying to fuck everyone over for a quick buck. If you trained an AI to read Reddit posts, and Reddit posts only, I bet it would take no time at all for the AI to start nuking towns. You're the asshole. Simply because you knew and planned on screwing over the store on purpose. You knew it was mismarked. Is it legal? Sounds like it not familiar with the scanner law but very assholish. Added I don't give a damn about the feeding vets or someone getting fired arguments. I don't feel bad for some chain store. And I'll return it? BS. If you know consumer laws then you also know they could never do that and you were trying to manipulate them into getting your way. You knew exactly what you were doing. You're the asshole. The manager was trying to guilt trip you so that he didn't get in trouble. You got lucky. If you didn't buy the prime rib somebody else would have and lots of people complain if the price they pay doesn't match the advertised price, especially by that much. They wouldn't have made full price on the prime rib anyway, you just made it happen all at once. Enjoy your quality steaks. Not the asshole. Once, my mother went to Costco, picked up a prime rib, and brought it to the register. The clerk ran the rib over the scanner but it didn't register. The clerk did not notice and neither did my mother. When the total came up, my mom knew something was wrong, but just paid and went to the door where they check your receipt. The receipt checker drew the little sharpie line, and my mom was on her way. In the parking lot, she checked the receipt and noticed the large prime rib, worth $150, was not on there. Two people fucked up, and my mom lucked out. You lucked out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. They made a mistake and there is a reason the law is the law for that sort of thing. The manager is an offer trying to guilt trip you. Honestly it's probably him who should get fired if that is the case. It's a huge corporation. They are absolutely fine with the hit they just took. As someone else said, if it was a mom and pop shop that's one thing. You are good. Not the asshole, they made a mistake. 
The manager seems to be grumpy because now he has to do work. I'm assuming at least three people should have noticed the issue. The worker who put the prices, the supervisor, the meat manager. Not the asshole please sir, may I have some steak? Not the asshole. The store's mistake isn't your responsibility. Grocery stores made money hand over fist the last three years getting a few bucks off your meat isn't substantively harming the business. They would be very silly to fire someone over that, and that would be on the store, not you. Not the asshole they made the mistake not you. Most likely the person will get a write up but unless they have a terrible work history at this place then they most likely won't lose their job. You know how hard it is find workers today? Manager was probably just trying to make you feel bad. Maybe you should have told him that you were going use them to cook for veterans. He may have been able to write it off somehow. Not the asshole. At a local Costco they had it marked at 44 cents per pound on accident. It flew out the building till someone noticed. Usually they will eat it but I am sure they have insurance for employee error. Not the asshole and I'd have done the same thing as long as it wasn't a mom and pop place. I got a similar deal on filet mignon once. It was marked as 15.98 for a whole vacuum packed package instead of 15.98 a pound. I bought all of them. The cashier was furious because I bought them all and the manager laughed and said our mistake your benefit when the cashier called him over. Sam's Club. We are well for months. I just had to cut it up and freeze it myself which was no big deal. Nta. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. My best friend manages a warehouse on the east coast for Kroger and he mistakenly sent 80k of black cherries to a Valleydale factory, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, still employed and we still laugh about it, smiley face. Not the asshole this is their mistake. Bet they won't make it again. The manager is out of line.